Hi there, in this video I'm going to do a pass exam question on differentiation. So let's read this question. So the point P lies on the curve with equation y is equal to ln 1 over 3x. The x coordinate of P is 3. Find an equation of the normal to the curve at the point P in the form y equals ax plus b where a and b are constants. So let's think about what we need. So in this case, we need the equation of the normal. And to find the equation of the normal, I need the y coordinate. So I need the corresponding y coordinate in order to find the equation of the normal. So we have the x coordinate given, which is 3. We can substitute x is equal to 3 into the equation of the curve to find the corresponding y coordinate. So let's just do that first. So let's get back to the paper and pen. So here's the equation of the curve. Here's the x coordinate, which is three. If I put, so if I put x is equal to three into y. So by doing that, y is equal to ln one over three into x, which is replaced by three. So I can cancel this three with this three over here, giving me one in the bracket and ln one is zero. So that is the corresponding y coordinate. Now if we go back to the question, so we need the equation of the normal. So to find the equation of the normal, I need the gradient of the tangent. And to find the gradient of the tangent, I need the gradient function dy over dx. If you're unfamiliar with the concept, I have created uh, a video explaining this and I'll provide a link to this video in the description below. So let's move on. So let's find the gradient function dy over dx. So we have the equation of the curve y is equal to ln 1 over 3x dy over dx the gradient function. So when we differentiate ln it's 1 over 1 over 3x multiplied by the derivative of this term 1 over 3x. Now if you're unfamiliar in terms of how you would differentiate a natural logarithmic function I have created a video explaining the process and I'll provide a link to that video in the description. But to differentiate a natural logarithmic function and provided that uh, you have a constant in front. So when you take the derivative, it's one over four, a natural logarithmic derivative, but you need to multiply by the derivative of the term here, the argument. Now, d by dx of one over three x is simply one over three. So let's make a note of that, okay? So one divided by one over three x that's the same as 3 over x multiplied by the 1 over 3 from here. And I can then cancel this 3 with this 3 to give me the gradient function dy over dx as 1 over x. So 1 over x remains. So this is the solution for dy over dx. This is the gradient function. And in order to work out the gradient of the tangent, the gradient of the tangent can be found by putting x equals 3 into the gradient function. So let's work out now the gradient of the tangent. And I usually call the gradient of the tangent m1. So if I replace x by 3 in dy over dx, m1, the gradient of the tangent, will be 1 divided by x which is replaced by 3 giving us 1 over 3. So 1 over 3 is the gradient of the tangent. Now if we go back to the question, the question reads we need the equation of the normal to the curve. So the normal and the tangent are perpendicular to one another and in a result that you may have seen in coordinate geometry if two lines are perpendicular, so since the normal and the tangent are perpendicular, then the product of their gradients equate to minus one. Okay, so back to the paper and pen. 
So if I take m2 to be the gradient of the normal, and since the tangent and the normal are perpendicular, so to work out the gradient of the normal, which I'm calling or naming m2, remember the result, if two lines are perpendicular, the product of their gradients equate to minus one. So since I've named m2 for the gradient of the normal, m2 when I rearrange therefore is minus one over m1. Now bearing in mind m1, the tangent gradient we found, so m1 is one over three. If I replace m1 by one over three, m2 therefore is minus one over one over three, which is minus three. So minus three being the gradient of the normal. So what do we have? We have the normal gradient. The gradient of the normal is minus three. So the tangent and the normal, by theory, pass through the same point. The same point being with x coordinate three given in the question and the y coordinate is zero. So we have the coordinates of the point where the normal pass through, three and zero. We have the normal gradient. Let's use the equation of the line formula in order to work out the equation of the normal. So let's move on from there. So in order to work out the equation of the normal at the point three and zero for the y coordinate, remember the formula for a straight line, we can use y minus y1, that is equal to m into x minus x1. So I like to use this formula as opposed to uh, the standard equation of a straight line formula, y equals mx plus c, um, and I'll show you why. So in this case we have m, m is m2, and bearing in mind the normal gradient is minus three. So let's make a note of that. And x1 and y1 are the coordinates of the point where the line passes through. So the normal passes through the point three and zero. So that is the data that we have. Let's put the data into the formula then. So to give us y minus, y1 is zero, that is equal to m the gradient minus three into x minus, and x1 in this case is three. Let's carefully multiply these brackets, let's expand. So y on the left, that is equal to minus three times x is minus three x. Minus three times minus three is plus nine. So if we go back to the question, we need the answer in the form y equals ax plus b. And if we go back to the paper and pen, we have it in its required form. So that completes the question. So that completes the question and that sadly ends this video. So I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, a like rating is very much appreciated. Do plenty of practice related problems and I hope to see you again. Thank you.